to go so far. You go down to that bump in the middle, that's as far as you're going to go. So that, that tells you what the thickness of that twine is going to be in there. What the depth of it is. Mm -hmm. The prices, the prices are there. about six bucks. You can buy that. Uh, I've never tried that great big saw thing on there. It'd be, it'd be interesting, but uh, that's what I'm using here. Now, do you go in and cut it from the other side too, or no? No, no. that's it. I'm done with this. So it's going to be curved. The piece you put in there is then curved. No, I'll show you how it'll do show. That. That's the, step two. The inside will show up when you hollow out the inside of the right. piece. And see, I'm. I'm just doing one. On some of those bowls in there, I had multiple splines. I did all of this step, I did them all, cut them all in. And then I switched over. I think there's more of those on the market now than there used to be. Yeah, there is. Because Fordham makes one, a small one like that. Dremel, Ram. Yeah. What I'm using now is these are carbides. And I forget which one I like better. Let's try this one. These are eighth inch. And I'll put it in there. This, what I like about this, I just, you, you don't have to loosen anything or anything. You just twist twist like that, it comes out. Put it like that. And, it, and I've got collets that go in there. I can, take, I can go down to sixteenth of an inch diameter. Um, that usually set that on a table or something. And uh, let's see if it'll... Got one. This one, I just don't remember which one was good. And whatever here. Oh, that's nice. This one, <laughs> this is my favorite one. It's a little touchy in the, in the foot pedal department there sometimes. This is old. I've had this 25 years. Long, long time. Dispense with the foot pedal, I guess, for now. You gotta wiggle it and get it just right. Anyways, I'll just take this, go down in there. You can jump off the dentist. I have, if you want, if anybody, if anybody got a tooth problem or anything. Well, looks like root canal work to me. You get some paper towel and jam them in there pretty tight, or get a piece of good, kind of soft wood so it will hurt your teeth and bite down on that. That was one of one of my other adventures, along with the, the uh, so basically, tunnel I also had a root canal in the meantime, that was, that was fun. So basically you're straightening it out? No, straightening it right out, yeah. Even up the side. Even it up. And like I say, I, I, once I cut that with a saw, I got them all done now, it's convenient. Depends on, on, the, on, the, on the wood. Now you want to you make sure you're going in and kind of eyeball it. I, I know how deep it's got to be, just about. Uh, that's, that's not deep enough, but I think you get the idea. Mm -hmm. You just go down so you know that that'll go in. Now, because of, you know, obviously, because of the curvature, you go in and, and this might be level, and these are still going to stick out. This depends on the radius you got. But that's all you got to do, really. Yeah, you're done with that part. Um, I don't need to. And what I do is I just got that piece of, of ebony, or you could, like I say, it could be walnut, cherry, anything you want. And I just eyeball, I take it over to the, this, this is a piece of wood about that wide, and it's about that long. And I just take it over the bandsaw and eyeball it and cut off what I call an eighth of an inch, give or take. And uh, then, uh, depending on the, I'll just go and measure the ones I'm cutting, try to be, this one's probably too short. Yeah, it is. I'd, I'd take this over, mark it, cut it off, 
and make sure it fits down in there. If it doesn't, I've got it. <coughs> most of you do too. You, you've yeah. got a belt sander somewhere, and I just touch the belt sander, round these ends off, tunk it in there, and you can use um, your regular Elmer's or whatever uh, waterproof what I use. True uh, tight, yeah. Or you can use the thick set uh, CA glue, or uh, I've got little pumps that I use for epoxy, so I can. So I got a, a, like a bulk system and it pumps out one, one pump in one pump in its. You, you, anyways, epoxy works really well, but it's, it's pricey to set it up. But, uh, and I just pound it in there, let it set overnight, and you got it. Like I said, I haven't had one. This is this this one's glued in with uh, regular white glue. If you end up with a little void, you can you can always fill that. But, so. Once I do that, I get this to the shape I want, and I might have four or five or whatever of those sticking out. Just cut them off, scrape them off with a gouge, and then go and cut the inside. And that gives you a good, <laughs> you better be able to see this when you go down through there that way. So it tells you you're, you're at the right depth. Okay. How did that finish up with those ebony in there? I mean, you can see them, right? Or you cut oh, them out? Oh, yeah. Well, you see them just like this.